What's up guys? I'm actually in North Carolina doing some work. For some of you all that don't know, I actually do automotive advertising. That's my, that's my day job. Uh, we're doing a shoot today for a local Ford store and we're actually taking a Mustang out for a photo shoot on a farm. So it's a race red 2016, I believe, five liter GT and uh, it's 100% stock. So we'll see how this goes. So I believe this is just an F-150 Lariat with a couple appearance options. Absolutely gorgeous truck. We're gonna use it as our camera vehicle today. So today we are filming a 2016 race red Mustang GT. It's a base model. Beautiful color. Got the dealer tag. Well, these are good people. They give me a manual. Ooh. Oh, it's so quiet. Oh my God, it's so quiet. <laughs> and it's on stock tune, so maybe I should tune it while I have it. I don't have my end gauge though. The one thing I do wish I had on my GT was only 264 miles. Oh, it's so new. I am in a Mustang but it's not mine. <laughs> right now, I am just outside of Columbia, South Carolina. I'm here for the week just filming for a few stores I work for, and today is Ford. So I have with me a Race Red 2016 Mustang GT, and this car is 100% stock. <laughs> but it's not a bad car at all. It's, it's very familiar, obviously, since you know I own a 2015. A local friend of mine up here actually has a private farm that's absolutely Gorgeous. So we are going to take the GT there. We also have a 2017 F-150 Lariat behind me and we're going to stage a pretty cool photo shoot inside the barn, outside the barn, around the horse farm. Anyway, got about 13 miles to get out there and so far so good. Alright, we're coming up on the farm. This place looks absolutely gorgeous and so pretty. This is going to be an awesome place to do a photo shoot. And we're already off-roading. There's the F-150. Here we are. Casual. Here's the barn. Let's get this thing staged. Come forward, then just back the truck up. All right, crank it hard. Now, other way. All right, here's the setup. Such a pretty little barn. It'd be a great shot. Inside the barn. This is a pretty cool shot. Mustang in the natural habitat world. We just wrapped up the shoot. About to take this bad boy to the city. We're gonna do some downtown shots. The guys in the detail department are going to kill me, but that's okay. <laughs> Just wrapped up the shoot at the barn. Huge shout out again to my buddy for letting me come over and do that. We are now headed over to downtown Camden, South Carolina, which is maybe about 30 minutes away. We're gonna get some rolling shots of the Mustang and the F-150 just going through the town, and then we'll call it a day. We already have a lot of footage in our file from past shoots, so this is just stuff to add, and we'll be there shortly. What's up guys, it is Saturday, and I am on my way back to our buddy John's place. Now you might remember John. John was our friend who did the paint correction on my GT a few weeks back, and we've been talking on and off, and he has this new wax that he'd really want me to try out. He explained it to me a little bit. I don't really remember all the details about it, but we'll talk about it more once we get there. It sounds like an awesome product, so I'm on my way over to John's right now, and he's gonna put it on my car and see how it does. We got about 20 minutes to get there, so check in when we're there.
lubricant in it so you don't have to worry about marring or anything and it'll work on like incredibly dirty areas and i'll show you on that one since that one hasn't been washed at all mm -hmm. but it has like uh, cleaning agents in it uh, lubricant and uh, a um like a small uh, carnauba wax in it and you can really do a whole car in less than 30 minutes it's great and not have to use any wash So what we're wrapping up with right now is just another round of sealant for the car just to keep it a little bit cleaner and uh, do a little bit better job than just to spray on wax or a, a cheaper wax. We're going through the car right now, we're just about halfway done and it's going to be looking great. All right, guys, we're all wrapped up. John worked his magic. The car looks brand new again. He just added another layer of sealant to the uh, to the paint, so it looks tremendous. We'll do a quick walk around right now. We are here downtown Orlando, just headed out of home base. Our friend Jeff Ashton just texted me wanting to do a photo shoot, a late night photo shoot, um, one of these really cool parking garages around here. So we're gonna go do that. Uh, he has a brand new Ronin gimbal that we're gonna test out. And I mean, you know them as well as we all do. They are so cool to use. Uh, we're gonna do a rooftop shoot and it's gonna be sick. Heading out to meet Jeff and Andrew from home base gonna make a little bit of noise as always. So yeah, we are actually going to the mall. <laughs> it's got a cool bridge though, second story bridge to get into this place. And we're gonna be up here on the roof. Apparently, Jeff is already here. literally here for two minutes and a mall cop shows up and kicks us out of the garage like we hadn't even set up the run or done anything and he's like you have to leave so we're leaving we're gonna park it right here in the parking lot and figure out where the hell we're gonna go spoiler alert we literally went about a quarter mile down the road and found another parking garage to take some sick shots at so we're getting set up here and so far so good this is a really cool shot we're gonna mix it up a little bit. We don't want all these cars in the background, so obviously we're gonna shoot, you know, from this angle and make it happen. Down. There we go. That's the right direction. So finally, the Ronin's set up. We got the cars chilling, and we're gonna do some shots. So here we go. This thing yet properly. We are learning how to use the Ronin. So far we got a couple really sick shots. Yeah. <laughs> We're on flat land now, Jeff's happy. It's going good. Got some good angles, some good picks. Here's some of the ones that I actually shot here and then down on the hill. Slowly but surely, we're getting the hang of it. Slow tracking. Why do I keep doing that? I keep doing it. Dude, I'm worry. so used just, to that. Just, you know, just go a little lower. Some... That was it. Sick. There we go. 
Let's see what we got. Maybe not. Wait, that was, oh, here, was I was like, this the last I was like, why'd that look so bad? Oh, man, you got it. <laughs> yes. Got the shot. Sweet. Cool. So, shout out to Crispy Media. We've never met you, but you're pretty cool. He just totally taught us how to make this one cool pan shot. And Jeff is now a child again. So, props, you're teaching us all how to film. Might be a new ballet dance. We'll call it the Ashton. All right, we're wrapping up the night with some 85 millimeter shots. These things look great. Oh, Ronnie. Wrong mode. There we go. Dude, that's such a cool frame. And let's slow this down. 2.8. Let's get that ISO. And of course, we've got to get the other side. Let's get this all framed up. A little crooked. On tripod. A little crooked. There we go. I think. That's so good. We just grabbed a bite to eat. We're heading out. Pretty successful day, I'd say. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. Got some awesome footage. Learned the Ronin, so it's never a bad thing. Anyway, we'll check back in Sounds when good. it's all put together. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your feedback. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. We love your feedback. We love hearing from you. Click the link below to check out the Ronin footage on Jeff Ashton's channel. It came out really good. I haven't seen all of it, but just from the camera, it looked like it came out awesome. Don't forget to click the link below and pre-order your very own Mustang Lifestyle t-shirt. We've gotten such a great response from you all already during our pre-order window. And if you want yours, be sure to get yours before the pre-order window closes because once it closes, we are going to have a limited supply. As always, we'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.